to a definite volume of 100 ml hydrochloric acid 0.5 n 10 ml of ester is added and the start of the reaction correspond to time of addition of ester is calculated ester plus acid mixture the rate of the reaction is followed by withdrawing a definite volume of the reaction mixture consisting of ester and acid at various regular intervals and arresting the future and further progress of reaction by adding ice The whole cold mixture is titrated with the standard sodium hydroxide 0.1N using phenolphthalein as the indicator. So here is the procedure for determination of rate constant of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an ester. Let the volume of alkali consumed at T is equal to 0 be V0 Cc. which is equivalent to the amount of hydrochloric acid present in the definite volume of the reaction mixture drawn out at regular intervals of time. If VCC, VTCC is the volume of alkali consumed for the same definite volume of the reaction mixture at time t. So Vt minus V0 is the equivalent to the acetic acid produced by the hydrolysis of ester in time t. A final titration is done after 8 hours or after refluxing the solution for 45 minutes to complete the hydrolysis which is a V infinity or alpha. It's considered as infinity CC. So V infinity minus V naught CC is the equivalent to acetic acid produced from complete hydrolysis of ester. The initial concentration of ester is A is directly proportional to B infinity minus V naught CC and the concentration of ester reacted at T is given by X directly proportional to Vt minus V naught into CC. The concentration of ester remaining at time T is equal to A minus 6 that's directly proportional to B infinity minus Vt. So A divided by A minus X is given by V infinity minus V naught divided by V infinity minus V T. I'm trying to show the small intestine of a human. Here is the small intestine. I'm trying to take it out a cross section of the small intestine. Here is the cross section of small intestine. It got lot of villi. In the villi, there are lot of epithelium tissues are there. If we grab the epithelium tissue, the microvilli is here. So here is the microvilli, it got the enzyme. I am trying to show you how the ester hydrolysis is happening. Once if the, if the person is eating food sucrose with water, automatically the enzyme will hold it and the water splits up the sucrose into glucose and fructose. You are able to see. Once the, this is the called active sites so over there, the everything is hold. Here is the oxygen bridge. You are able to see water molecule it's coming here and it's hitting the oxygen bridge and it's breaking the sucrose. So breaking the sucrose into glucose and fructose. Here is the glucose and the other one is fructose. This is how the food particles are breaked into a meaningful and valuable glucose and sucrose molecules. So the first order rate expression for the hydrolysis of ester can be written as K is equal to 2.303 divided by T log 10 
v infinity minus v naught divided by v infinity minus vt. By substituting vt values for various t values, the value k is determined. So these values are found to be constant, indicating k as the rate constant of the reaction. 